Good. Excellent. I wish my boys would pay attention to me this way. All right. Uh, first and foremost, this is the platform session. So like any good uh, uh, airline stewardess, I'm going to ask if you're not here to listen to the platform session, you probably should be over there. All right. I'm Jeff Kaplan. I'm the managing director of a consulting business called Think Strategies, focused on uh, software as a service, cloud computing, and the whole transformation of the technology industry from being product centric to services driven. This is my second time having the privilege of being a moderator of a session like this. Did it last year and volunteered to do it again because I had such a wonderful time. Uh, and I think you're going to have a great time as well in this session because I think uh, there's a, some very interesting things happening here. I've had a chance to meet some of the uh, entrepreneurs of the startups you're going to be hearing from, and they've got some very interesting businesses. But before we introduce them, I'd like to introduce our esteemed panel of judges. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves, not with anything they've already had written about them in their um, bios in the um, guidebook, but uh, maybe with one or two other little tidbits, which will give you a little bit more insight about where they're coming from as they're looking at these new companies. So why don't we start with Jeff, and we'll work our way down to Jason and Luke. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm Jeff Samuels. I'm Chief Marketing Officer for GoGrid, which is a, a leading infrastructure as a service company based here in San Francisco. We have data centers all over the place. And uh, it's really exciting to yesterday talking with uh, the entrepreneurs here. Um, GoGrid really looks for partnerships, um, those that are bringing value from a cloud perspective to our customers. We have 10,000 customers who are constantly looking for solutions. Um, and so as I look at uh, I look the companies here and also in general the companies that are under the radar, I mean, there's, there's such a, a depth of, of, of new ideas and, 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 and solutions to problems that enterprises and small businesses have. So that's what I'm excited to hear about today. Hi, I'm Jason Gunther. Uh, I head up uh, the centralized uh, technology, product development, and design teams for ESPN.com. And I've been with Disney this for about 15 years now. I uh, started as a startup, Starwave, up in Seattle. So it's kind of funny to go full circle now. I'm one of the big media companies, and I've been there for a long, long time. So for me, just to hear all the energy around that startup five and hear what's going on in the community now and see how it applies to someone who's been, you know, now ESPN.com is over 15 years old. So what do you do when you've got 15 years worth of technology and how do you take some of these new concepts and apply them? So, Hi, uh, my name is Luke Rylick. I am the uh, CTO of Farmville at Zynga. Uh, I run the engineering operations team for the Farmville uh, social game. Uh, Zynga is a social game maker. We make a lot of popular games that you or someone you may know may have played on Facebook or other platforms. Um, and we're very big, avid users of the cloud. Uh, it's very interesting technology for us. And uh, I, you know, I personally am an entrepreneur, so I know kind of where these guys are coming from, standing up here trying to give pitches and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, getting that perspective is really cool to hear what is going on in that. All right, and I've also told Luke that he's a Simon Cowell of this group, okay? So he's the one who's responsible, whether he knows what he's talking about or not, you know, just hammering whoever comes up with it. So I'm Jennifer Lopez. Thing. Yes, he, yeah. and, all right, anyways, so uh, we are going to uh, commence with a series of presentations, uh, and we may have some extra time at the end of this session, because we only have four presentations as opposed to five, which are typically the case in, in these sessions. We only have four. So if there's some spare time and you want to ask some questions of your own, you may. Now keep in mind, just like American Idol, you do get a chance to vote, and just like American Idol, it is a text-based system. So take some notes and be prepared to vote when we get done, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with dot cl dot .cloud, and we're going to have uh, Solomon come up and tell us a little bit about, where is he? There he is. Solomon, the floor is yours. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. Hi everyone, I'm Solomon Hikes. I'm the co-founder and CEO of DotCloud, and we're solving the most painful problem web developers have today, and that's system administration. If you're a developer, all you care about is your application. You just want to write code, that's what you're good at. But in order to deploy that application to the cloud, you need to worry about your stack. You need to assemble the software components, the software building blocks, that are the foundation of your application. That means you have to worry about provisioning and configuring servers. You have to worry about scaling, monitoring, configuration management. All of that work 
takes time. Time you're not spending writing code. Doc Cloud takes all of that work away. We automate it and we deliver it to you in 30 seconds. And we do that not just for Python developers, not just for Ruby or PHP. We don't restrict a developer's choices, but we let them choose from any combination of language, database, or middleware components that they need. So for example, if I wrote an application in Python, let's say it uses MySQL and Redis, all I have to do to deploy it in the cloud is run three simple commands. One, two, three, and I'm done. 30 seconds later, my application is up and running in the cloud. That means it's been installed and configured by us, it's managed and monitored by us. It means if you need to scale it, you can add extra capacity really simply. And if it breaks in the middle of the night, if something goes wrong, we fix it, not you. That works for consumer applications, for the back end of your mobile application, for enterprise projects. The, va the value is the same. It just works. As a developer, you get simplicity without giving up control over your technology stack. And that really matters. Simplicity matters because when a developer is happy and productive, that means your organization is saving time and money on every single project. Choice and control also matter because when all the developers, every single team, regardless of their choice of language, database, et cetera, can work together on the same simple platform, you just got rid of the IT nightmare of your apps being scattered across 10 different platforms, having to deal with 10 different SLAs, 10 different support and operation teams. It all just works. We launched our private beta in January. We've seen tremendous traction. We have thousands of developers building on .cloud today. That includes mission critical application, production deployments. We have thousands more uh, signed up. And they love it. They really love it. This is what I call our ego slide. Uh, the story is the same again and again. I can't believe how simple it is. I can't believe how quickly I got set up. I can't believe how easy it was to migrate to .cloud from another platform. They love it. And it's not just developers that are excited. We put together the most amazing team of engineers, advisors, and investors you could think of to build this product. We've just announced last month that we raised $10 million from Benchmark and Trinity. We're hiring like crazy. We're releasing something new every single week. In short, we're building the platform of the future. So if you like the idea of developers across your organization working all together on the same simple platform with operations, with IT, to deliver applications in the simplest possible way without headaches, then maybe we can help. I'm Solomon Hikes. For dot cloud. Thank you very much. That's pretty impressive. With two minutes to spare, nicely done. I like the conversation. Uh, why don't we start with Jennifer? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, great presentation. Um, I have a question. Uh, when you get down to the 